Welcome to day two of the 45 day loft conversion challenge. Today we're going to be removing the old roof and starting the construction of the new roof. So the felt and tiles have already been stripped off the old roof, the concrete tiles that you saw in the first video, they've all gone in the skip along with the felt and now the guys have started the job of removing the timber structure for the old pitched roof. Uh, because we won't be retaining any of this we're going to build an entirely new timber roof structure so they're literally just cutting through all the old timber you can see that it's in quite good condition uh, it's not rotted uh, but it's not the right structure that we need for the new roof so they're cutting away all of the timber and then uh, everything's being passed down to the skip on the ground floor once we have removed everything and completely stripped back the old roof, then we'll start the process of constructing the new loft conversion with the steels and the dormer that's going to form the new bedroom and ensuite bathroom space. We're now ready to install the steel beams for the new loft structure. Here's the structural drawing which shows exactly what we're going to do. So you see that on this particular drawing there are three main steels. There's one here that runs from the external side wall all the way across to the party wall. There's another one that runs parallel to that from at the back from the side wall all the way across to the party wall and then there is a steel that will be connected between the two that will pick up the load uh, this in this direction. There's some interesting points to note here. You'll see this red these, these red parts here are bearer plates. Now this one particular by this chimney breast is being cut into the party wall. And you'll see, and if you've watched the preparation video, you'll know that we needed to uh, put a party wall agreement in place ahead of doing this work, because this is something you have to agree with your neighbor. But we will cut a hole into the party wall and this bearer plate, which is a, another steel, will be fitted before the large steel beam is inserted and, and that will spread the load and provide a solid surface for the steel beam to sit on. There's a similar one over here. This one's more interesting because the chimney breasts at the rear of the property have been removed, which again is, there's more detail on the preparation video. If you watch day one video uh, of these sequence of videos, um, and a gallows bracket was inserted at some point in the past, probably 20 or 30 years ago. Um, these gallows brackets are, are not popular anymore with building control. They're not seen as being 100% safe because if the neighbour has the same arrangement, it can uh, put pressure on the party wall and, and cause some damage. So what we're doing here is at the end of this steel beam, we've uh, had a, bare, a, a plate fitted which is the width of the chimney above, the chimney stack, which runs up above the roof line. And that we will then brick up, we'll, we'll fit this, and then that will support bricks being inserted between the plate and the gallows bracket that's currently in place. So this is the, the structural drawing. Um, so now let's have a look at the actual steels on site. So here we are now back on site, and you can see we are cutting into the party wall. This is the wall between the two houses to create a small cavity, which we then put the bearer plate across before the steel beam is inserted and, and put into its final position. So that's the work that's being done on the party wall at the front there. You can see the layout of the steels. The two side-to-side -side steels are now in place. This one at the rear has actually been fitted. So if you look, you can see but the party wall has also been cut there and the bearer plate is the dark part underneath the end of the steel. We then um, move across, we can have a look at the bearer plates in more detail. This bearer plate has been fitted on the external wall, so we've built up the masonry beneath it and then it's cemented into place and that spreads the load when the steel's on it. We can see the steel's already been fitted, so the bearer plate's underneath it and the steel rests on top of that and that will be all fixed into place but gravity will hold that firmly. But this, We did the preparation work yesterday to put the bearer plate in place. This is the steel that will sit underneath the gallows bracket. You can see the large section on the end that's been welded to it. 
Now on to the construction of the timber floor itself. I thought it was worth showing a video of how much wood is actually used. Uh, you're going to need a lot of storage space on the ground floor. Um, we've seen what's going on above, but down on the ground floor, there's a lot of prep work needed for all of this timber. It's so back up onto the roof. Uh, the three steels that we looked at earlier are now all fitted in place. So you can see that the guys have started fitting the timber joists that will form the floor structure. We look at this end of this steel, the bearer plate is now in position. Uh, it's been fixed in. Um, it's been all tested and it's, it's level and straight and the floor will now sit on these joists that are fitted into the I-beam steels. So they, they're called I-beams because they look uh, like an I on a cross section. You can see here the, 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 the capital I. And the timber is then all fitted snugly into place and then across each piece, the small pieces are called noggins are placed in to stop the timber from moving and keeping it all rigid. So you can see the build-up of the floor. Um, the insulation will sit inside this cavity to, um, to make sure that, that it's got good insulation in the loft. But you can see how much extra height you need for the floor on top of where your ceiling is from the room below. Um, they're quite significant. If have a look from above, we can see the steels in place, the three main ones that we looked at earlier. The two ones that join from side to side. You can see here where the gallows bracket is, the black piece of steel that's fitted to the wall from 20 or 30 years ago. Underneath that, we've got the metal plate and then you can see the chimney stack. Even though the breasts have been removed below, the chimney stack's still above it. Um, that piece that we saw earlier with the welded section for the brickwork has now been fitted into the wall. We have a look in some more detail. This is the bearer plate from the work that was being done earlier in the party wall, the black piece, and then the cross piece uh, has been fitted. The guy here is actually cutting some holes into this to put um, a, a vertical steel in to support the ridge beam. But this is the plate in more detail where we will put some brickwork on top of this, it will bear the weight of it. We'll brick up to the gallows bracket above to provide extra support for this chimney stack that's still sitting on the house and, and is used by both properties. Now we're having the final steel fitted for today and that's a vertical steel which is bolted into, you can see the bolts, the silver bolts, that's bolted into the steel on the floor and will support the ridge beam that's going to be where the new roof structure will be built up to.